You are watching a master at work. guys so today I'm gonna do an actual install video on the Corolla here um, for all of you that were complaining about the camera being too shaky I now have a stand so I can just move it around so you can like it's pretty cool I got it from my, my mom you can like lower it like this and then like tilt it and all kinds of cool stuff so but for now I'm just gonna mob with you guys here put this thing in for now so I can show you what's going on all right cool this will hopefully be a lot better than me shaking so I can just hold this stand here so um, the Corolla actually has a snapped wheel stud in the rear and um, it was like that when I had it. Um, basically, trying to take this lug nut off, it just like pulled the stud off and snapped it with it. So, I got a new wheel stud and a new nut. Hopefully this nut's big enough. It doesn't look like it is, but I don't know, it's a part number for the Corolla. So, we're actually gonna check it out here and see if it works. This is a 2003 Toyota Corolla Sport. And as you can see, the wheel set is just straight snapped off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you guys up. And then, uh, basically just kind of get the wheel off, jack it up, put a jack stand under it, show you how to replace a wheel stud. Every wheel stud except for like the the drill style lug bolts like BMWs, Volkswagens, all that this is how you replace them they're knurled and you literally just pound them in which that's if the hub's off the car I'm going to show you how to do it with minimal tools and another reason why you should buy a Japanese car because they think of things to make things maintenance friendly and easy unlike American cars so I can get to that. Let me jack it up here real quick. Alright guys, so as you can see snapped off another stud just literally taking off the freaking the lug nut so it's crazy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get off one stud and I'll have to go buy another one but at least I can show you how to do it all right so secret trick make sure you check if your vehicle has threads or the drum to push it out because sometimes they get seized and you can't get them out from the sides like you saw and uh, I just checked the brake diagram and these do luckily I have brand new M8 by 1.25 bolts sitting around so what you're gonna do so let me see here if I can zoom in to let you uh, see here the stand there we go all right, so as you can see, those two little holes right here. So we're gonna thread them both in, and I'm gonna actually use the impact and uh, just kind of thread them out. And it should push the rotor right off. So we're gonna see here. Make sure you, you know, watch yourself. So I got M8 by 1.25 bolts, our 13 millimeter hex heads mostly. I actually have a special one. <clears throat> Make sure you don't breathe in this brake dust if you can. You just 
you know, ventilation. I'm outside, so I don't really need to uh, worry about too much about it because my head's not right by it and I'm not breathing it in, like sniffing it, you know, so. We're gonna do these. I like to hand thread them in first so you don't freaking, you know, strip them with the impact or something. So there's one. The other one I'm gonna do up top and I'm gonna go in an equal fashion. I just wanna go slow so you don't strip stuff like I said. And as you can see, it came off. So take these guys out. I'm so glad I'm a freaking pack rat because I have literally so many things. <laughs> so yeah, look. You just take the guy off. There you go. I'm gonna move you guys over here so you can get some in close view here. So basically, you see here how they have the studded holes. I'm going to see just before you might be able to slide this in there somehow without having to pull off the sides. But we will check. That's definitely going to be close. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to get that in there, maybe. But, whatever, we can at least get the old ones out. So, what you want to do, so I like using the old stud, or the new stud, whatever. It's probably not, you know, the best, but I'm going to put this on here so you don't damage the threads. do you kind of acorn it on there and just hammer it it's gonna be really tight there we go so just use the hammer instead you can see how these are knurled Try the other one flat. There we go. So I got them both out here. So we're gonna actually have to see how to take these off. Because as you can tell, there's no slots to put these in. Normally the newer Japanese cars, they have holes like right around here. So you can just kind of, like the Camrys and Corollas and stuff, the newer ones, this is an older one, 2003. You can kind of slide the bowl back in and move it around and then pull it in. And what I like to do is put the nut on the impact and just cinch it down so it pulls it towards you and gets the neurals in. But it looks like we're going to have to take, well, maybe not, I might be able to piggly jiggly it in there where I can get it, but it is not going to be fun at all, at freaking all. Let's see here. Ooh, I might actually be able to get it in without taking the hub off. Oh yes, I can get one in. Alright, no, I can get them all in. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So what you want to do, I'm going to come in a little closer here. I'll do it so you guys can see on this side here. Alright. So what you want to do is get the knurled aligned and then put the bolt on like you're gonna tighten the lug on the the wheel on the lug. And then cinch it up so it's centered. Check the back to make sure it's good. And then, what you want to do is get your trusty size for the lug nut, which this one happens to be a 21 mil. 
and just tighten it as much as you can all at once. So we're gonna try it and see if it works. So it's on. <laughs> now I have to figure out how to get the freaking bolt off. It's going to be interesting. So let's see here, I guess. Alright, so I got super lucky. I almost freaking stripped the lug stud on there. So this is why you have to be careful when you do this. Um, a lot of people... What they do is they ah. tighten it, like I just did, and frickin' strip the new bolt on there. What's probably a better idea is to get some washers, put them on here, space them out, and then, uh, you know, kind of like put the e-brake on, and like put the drum back on and tighten it with a torque wrench or something, or uh, just get washers in general and just, you know, kind of stack it up so you're not having to get the, the shoulder and have the edge on here and strip it and just tighten it slowly. Um, I've done this with the impact many times and it's not, you know, messed with me. Um, but, I mean, it is a car, so what can go wrong will go wrong. So, <laughs> as you can see, I got one on and the other one I actually have to go to the store and get, which I didn't think that was gonna happen, but it's all good, stuff happens. So that's this one. Um, you, honestly, that one you can't get the lug nut out unless you drilled it out, and then you're just wasting all your time. So it's literally, these are like a dollar. So just freaking go to the store and get one. And as you can tell, thread's on good. Just like it's supposed to. So the acorn style lug nuts. So we're gonna put this guy back together for now until I can go get another lug. I'm just gonna buy a set of five new because I don't want to take a chance with these old ones. This seems like they're seasoned on there. Um, I'm gonna do new and then I'm gonna anti season. All right, so just a quick little tip here before I let you guys go. An easy way to make sure that these last and not damage the threads is here. Put it. Let me see if I can get this in with two hands here. Nope, hold on a second. Hold on. Bear with me, everybody. There we go. All right. So you get the wheel stud in. In order to prevent it from damaging the, the lug nut you're using or strip it to get it off, a, a little easy trick here is you can take a flat washer and some kind of spacer here. Put it on there so when it pulls it through it's straight because if it goes cockeyed you see how it could be like a problem here you don't want that to happen so you put it on there so it pulls it through straight when the lug nut tightens onto it so I'm going to show you guys here actually how it goes on Nice and smooth here. So then you just take the lug nut or whatever you're using, the sacrificial one I call it, old one, and then you just kind of thread it on there, put these on there, the washers, the spacers, and eventually it tightens up to the hub so it's straight. Take this and thread it on. Just like that. 
you have yourself new lug studs. So let's put the hub back on and stuff so you can see that it works and all that. Take the drum here. Put it back on. There you go. Good to go. Everything looks aligned. Take all the old stuff off. Out of the way. I'm just replacing all the lug nuts too. So I want to deal with So, four is better than two, so <laughs> we'll get that one on, I guess. And uh, kind of just do exactly what you had, the reverse operation of stuff. And there you go. That's how you replace a wheel stud. It's pretty simple. Just takes a little bit of time and stuff. So let me know what you guys think of the camera angles. I know it's kind of weird. I'm still trying to figure out the, you know, the camera on the mount. So uh, it's not as wiggly and crazy for you guys. But thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, 